your metro, don't trust you, I'm gon' sh- What's up, all my devil dogs? It's your boy Sean Ollie, Strength Core Zion 5 Star General. Got some badass footage for you guys coming from Miami Iron Gym. One of the baddest gyms in the South we got down here in Miami. We did a push day, emphasis on shoulders. I'll put the full workout below in the description in case you want to follow along. But check out these clips, man. They're pretty dope. A1 plus material. Okay, start off with some dumbbell shoulder press. We really had to get each other hyped today, man. Um, me and Nate, as well as Sasha, she went in too, man. She wasn't on camera, but she she trained hard just like the rest of us. All right, and we really had to focus, man. And these weights felt a lot heavier than the weights we normally use. Even though they weighed the same, they felt heavier just because of the environment. Eight reps, man. Eight fucking reps. I'm not getting off this fucking seat until I get eight motherfuckers. Time to come out, man. Time to come out from the hoodies, the long sleeves. Me and Nate getting lean, man. Nate want to talk about something he ain't got no muscles to flex, man. We're going to work on his posing, but Nate getting lean, y'all. Y'all see that. And then right here, man, I was shocked at how lean I've gotten, man. I'm getting pretty, uh, pretty nasty up in here. Check it out. Alright, next exercise we hit some it was a superset actually. Some one arm dumbbell lateral raises. Really, really like this exercise. And what we did was we held on to a little station or whatever, just had something so we can lean over. What that's gonna do is increase your range of motion. So that when you're leaned over, you're getting a lot more range of motion, and that's really gonna stimulate more fibers and make the exercise just a little bit difficult, uh, more so than it would normally be. All right, and then we superset that with just some dumbbell rear delt flies. You want to make sure that your hands are lined up with your eyes when you're doing this exercise. That's an easy way to guide where it should be at. Because if you go too low, then you start feeling it in your mid back, and you're really supposed to feel it in your rear delts. Okay. So right here, you also want to get up pretty high. See how high Nate's getting with that? You, a lot of people stop when they're at parallel, but you can really, really get a good squeeze in your medial delts if you bring it just as high as you can. I mean, you don't have to bring it up to where your arm is parallel, but I would say bring it up to where it's greater than 90 degrees, maybe about 45 degrees or so, and you're really going to see the difference and really feel a, a different pump in your shoulders, man. I've noticed it when I've tried it, so give it a try. And we were messing around right here talking about Phil Heath. Talking about how uh, we're trying to look like this guy. Not really, though. <laughs> but, hey, we're trying to get as close as we can um, in our journey to looking the best that we can. All right. Then we did another superset here. It was a lot of supersets this day, man. Really intense. We did just some behind-the-neck standing overhead press and superset that with this machine lateral raise, man. I really like this machine. Um, you can really load a lot. The only problem I have with it is because your arms are kind of to the front of you, you might feel a little more in your front delts than you should, but the machine really gets the job done. You don't have to worry about stabilizing dumbbells. You can really just focus on getting a good squeeze and contraction in those medial delts. All right, then Nate repeated what we were doing, man. And let me tell you, man, let me talk about Nate real quick. Nate, man, he's come such a long way. I mean, just the intensity he had when we first met was enough for me to really want him to be my workout partner. But, you know, he's really grown and he's more intense. And a lot of times when I'm lacking or whatever, he's the first person to tell me, hey, man, tighten up. You know, it's time to go to work, man. He encourages me a lot. And that's why Nate's my right-hand man, you know. Uh, I don't know what I'd do without him, honestly. 
All right, so next super set right here, we just did some cable reverse flies one arm at a time, really wanting to focus. Again, keeping your hands in front of your eyes. That's really gonna help you to position your hands the right way to hit the rear delts. And we superseted that with just this hammer strength shoulder press, which man, if you watched my vlog that I posted, really intense footage, man. I, this was heavy, especially after doing those rear delt flies. And let me tell you, man, if it wasn't for Nate kind of cheering me on, you know telling me to lift that shit it would have been a lot harder man so nate went ahead and uh repeated did the same thing here and let me tell you yes um the second exercise is a compound but when you exhaust one of the muscles that you have in your delts whether it's your rear delts front delts medial delts and then you go hit a compound you're gonna feel whatever muscle that you just hit so i actually felt this a lot more in my rear delts than i would have normally felt because they're already pre-exhausted a lot of people don't like to believe in pre-exhaustion, but I'm a person, I believe in it, I use it, and it definitely works for me, okay? Then what we did here, this is pretty intense. This is probably the most intense shit we did the entire day, in my opinion. So we just got a bar, put four tens on each side. Um, this is just the seated military press. We did front presses, right? So we just did as many as we could. I think I got about eight to 10 on each one of them. And let me tell you, man, this shit right here had my arms, had my shoulders just burning. You just do one plate, take it off. Do another plate, take it off. All the way down to one plate. So it was like a triple drop set. But we did four sets in total. Because one with four plates, one with three plates, one with two plates, and one with one plate. All right. And I wanted to make it a little bit quicker. So I helped Nate, you know, with assisting him with taking the weight off or whatever. It only slowed us down a little bit because I used clips which you know i had to because that weight was kind of unstable the bars here is the only thing is they kind of move a little bit and so you have to really really focus and make sure that you're not going to get yourself hurt all right y'all honestly i have no fucking idea why the fuck we come in here and do this shit every day shit hurts shit fucking sucks but i guess the game is all right or whatever Watch my dog Nate kill this shit. Let's get it. Alright, then it was Nate's turn, man. And right here, you're gonna see in a few minutes, or uh, really a few seconds. <laughs> um, right here, I wanted Nate to drop the bar a little bit lower. He was dropping it beneath his chin, but I wanted him to get that full range of motion. So right here, I pointed at his chest and told him, drop it down to your chest, man. It makes the range of motion a lot deeper. It actually involves a bit of the upper chest and makes the exercise a lot harder. And hey, Nate was able to do it, man. He dropped the weight. And Nate is a strong dude. He's only been training two years, you guys. But he's got that natural strength to him. Because remember, Nate was like 430 or 40 pounds. So he was used to carrying around a lot of weight. So now when he lifts weights, he's about 249 or 250 right now. So Nate has lost damn near 200 pounds, man. And I mean, a lot of the times, man, you might see him lifting shit, and you might be like, damn, Sean, he's only been lifting two years, you've been lifting four, but you gotta remember, Nate was a big dude, he used to carrying around that weight, and he played football as well, so he has that natural strength to him, so Nate's got, I, he's got potential to really go places, man, as far as, you know, bodybuilding or even powerlifting if he wanted to, the only thing stopping him is Nate's kind of tall, he's about six feet, so I don't know how powerlifting would go for him, but... I don't think Nate's really into that anyway. <laughs> okay, moved on right here. Had to get some bench press. We went and did some chest. This is our low volume chest day. Um, we did about three chest exercises right here. Just starting off with the bench. And again, what really kind of messes up with the, was the bars. They kind of spin a little bit, so it's not as stable. But I was still able to get my 225 for sets of eight to 10, man. You know, and with the bench press, a lot of people say they don't feel it. And you really just got to control the weight, man. You can't really press up and you can't lock out. When you lock out, you put a lot of tension on your triceps. Then, of course, you're not going to feel it as much. See how I'm coming up here and just short of lockout is where I contract my chest, you know. I'm keeping my uh, my elbow soft just like you would keep your knees soft when you're doing squats. You don't want to come up and lock the knees. You do the same thing with your elbows. And even here with Nate, he said the weight wasn't heavy. It was just that instability of the bar, you know, stabilizing muscles. Mine have definitely developed more than Nate since I've been training longer. Nate's got the strength, but those stabilizers, man, that's a tough thing, man. You got to develop those as well. All right, then we went on here and did some dumbbell incline bench. 
all right hit the 90s right here and let me tell you i think the most i actually got was maybe eight but i was getting about seven reps here i was exhausted i mean we hit shoulders we hit flat bench and then i'm telling you something about these weights this is real weight this ain't that you know um commercial gym weight this is a hardcore gym weight like it's real weight i'm telling you it feels a lot different to me and i could definitely tell when i was training but uh hey we got it done there's no excuses man if it's 90 pounds i'm trying to hit whether i'm at you know a commercial gym a hardcore gym outside whatever i hit what i can hit you know what i'm saying you can't make excuses and say oh the weight's heavier here it's lighter here you gotta just lift the weight man I'm not I'm a no excuses no bullshit kind of guy and when I go to train that's exactly what I do I make sure I'm focused and I do what I have to do man I got my checklist and I'm gonna go ahead and get work done all right last thing we did here was actually a superset pretty intense superset right here I see this might not be the last thing but we pretty much did dumbbell flies and we supersetted them with these uh, close grip presses and then we went ahead and did some one arm tricep extensions, man. Really, really intense right here to hit the triceps. Um, and that was it for the entire workout, you guys. I mean, this this workout was killer, let me tell you. Um, I don't think I've gotten such a good workout in a long time. And because we were so quick with the rest, we were so efficient in how we were working out, I didn't even have to honestly um, do any cardio that day. So we skipped out on that. Plus, we were short on time. But trust me, with all the supersets, all the heavy weight we were pushing, all the different you know intensity techniques we used, there was no need for us to really do a lot of cardio that day. Um, but really intense, guys. And I love this gym. We definitely have to try and come back, you know, at least once in a while, maybe once a month or something, to get you guys some intense footage. There's just so much motivation at this gym right here. I'm going to show you guys some clips. They had like some of the greats, man. You see Arnold Schwarzenegger. You see Jay Cutler. You know, um, I think there's pictures of even some of the new school people. Dana Lynn Bailey, Kai Green. You know, just some of the greats from history, man. Really inspirational. You know, had to do a little posing, man. Why not? I'm flexing or whatever. Hit a little back double bicep for y'all. That rear lat spread, my money shot, man. I'm telling you, my back has come a long way. When I first worked, started working out, all I wanted was a good, big, thick, wide back. I think I've accomplished that at least to some extent. Y'all comment below and tell me what you think. All right, so just hit a few poses right here, just having a little fun. Um, but I really do appreciate you guys, you know, watching the video. Please share it. I think this video is pretty dope. A1 plus and I really need to try and get this seen. So if you got anybody you think, you know, will be interested in watching the channel, please share the video. Don't forget the orders, subscribe and share, like and comment. So next time my devil dogs, dismissed. Um, but it was a great leg day. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed meeting Ruben, which is the subscriber, the guy who he messaged me and just said, hey, man, you down to work out? And I'm always down to work out.